Good morning. It's time to hit the road. We uh, got a good night's rest and now we're gonna pack up and uh, we got a long drive today, guys. Check this out. Whoa. Oh, sorry, my bad. These guys are packing the drone. Be the first time to get some drone footage on the Hush channel, so that should be pretty fun. Where's our next stop? Cabela's? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, Cabela's is next. Pick up a couple things we need and uh, go shoot some, uh, go shoot some white tail. All right, we just hit the halfway point here in Sydney, Nebraska. It's looking pretty flat out here. But we made it to Cabela's. Is this the first Cabela's ever? Superstore's first retail store, yeah. It's the headquarters, world headquarters. Yeah, this is their world headquarters. This is where all their corporate offices and everything. I'm sure John's been out here a Baller, bunch of times. Yeah, we spent a little bit of time out here. <laughs> halfway point between the farms, halfway so. point we still have eight hours to drive before we get to the farm um, we've got to stop in here and Jarek's got to get some boots I've got to get a couple things set up for my tree stand so I can film but this will be fun I've only been to one Cabela's and that's the one out in uh, Lehigh Utah so let's go check it out all right guys we're in the archery department I need to pick up some broad heads and uh, shooting the deep six injection arrows I need to get Deep six broadheads. I shot these earlier. I shot my elk in New Mexico with these and did a number on them. So I think I'm gonna need a couple packs of these just in case. Can't ever have too many broadheads, right? But uh, pretty bummed they don't have a camera arm for um, a tree stand. Cabela's headquarters. They don't have a camera arm for filming out of a tree stand. Are you kidding me? I was counting on stopping here and picking one up so I can film um, out of the tree, but we're gonna buy a ground blind one and try to rig something up ourselves. But check out the mounts in this place. Got all the sheep up high, the elk fighting, and look at these right here giant whitetail. That's what we're looking for right there. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy to see a buck like that hunting out of a tree stand? I don't think uh, there's very good odds for where we're hunting to find deer of this size, but I'm not gonna be too picky. I think uh, legal shooting has to have at least four points on one side. But if I saw a buck like this, I don't think I can hold myself together to make the shot. And look at the drop tines on these things. That's really, really cool. But yeah, this is the uh, Cabela's out here in Sydney, Nebraska. Got a bunch of mounts, a lot of sunlight. I'm sure a bunch of you have been out here before, but this is my first time in this store. Quick stop though, broadheads and a tree stand arm that we couldn't find. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> Follow you, man. This guy follows me. What's going on? It's crazy. That's what the great power of the internet right here is. You can go anywhere and I run into people. That I was watching the Utah hunt with your brother. Cool. What's your name? Uh, Brian Campos. Eric. Nice to meet you. Well, that was a quick stop to uh, Cabela's. Another cool thing I like seeing is my friend Adam Van Wagenen. He does artwork. That's his art right there in a truck out in Nebraska. So it's cool seeing some of Adam's stuff. He does the big rack logos and the big rack like uh, dashboard mounts and stuff so if you guys have probably seen like the shed antlers that hang from the rear view mirror and he was just texting him a minute ago and it's cool to see his artwork like that on the back of someone's truck way out here so good job Adam must be doing something right but we got a few things for the tree stand couldn't find a tree stand arm for the camera so we bought the ground blind version and uh I think John is crafty enough to whip up something that'll work, don't you think? Might be doing a little welding. John uh, does a lot of manufacturing and design work from all the different brands he works with, Horn Hunter and Triantula and Cabela's and all kinds of stuff. So I don't doubt that he can turn this thing into a tree stand arm, which I'll use to uh, self film, hopefully an awesome kill shot for you guys on a big whitetail buck like the ones we just saw in there. You guys got 200 inches on your farm? 
That's pushing it a little bit, but we should have some good ones. We'll see. I'm excited. I can't wait. We're halfway. We've got eight more hours of road trip before we get to the farm, so it's going to be well past dark. So first first uh, time we hunt will be in the dark going into the tree stands tomorrow, but look at all these geese. The Cabela's Pond is the number one spot to hunt geese <laughs> near this town. Holy cow, there's literally hundreds of birds out there. get arrested yeah if you want to get arrested that's the pond to hunt so don't don't go to Cabela's in Sydney Nebraska don't buy a camouflage and a shotgun and walk out the front door and expect to hunt <laughs> right we've uh, made our way to Kearney Kearney Nebraska and we're gonna eat at Skeeter Barnes barbecue food can't go to Nebraska without eating some good barbecue right um, yeah, long stretch in some very flat country, but it's whitetail country, a lot of farms, river bottoms, and my eyes have either been glued on to browsing Instagram or looking for deer. And I've seen like probably 50 whitetails just through the river bottoms, just out the side of the road, but really cool to see whitetail deer. It's been a lot of years since I've seen some. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and here, eat real quick, then we'll catch up with you guys on the next stop. Finally made it made it to our destination it's super late we've been spending all day in the truck driving let's see what time it is out in missouri it's 11:22. so we took a lot longer than we expected to take but we made it here and this is where we're going to be staying in the whitetail den these are all a bunch of bucks that uh, have been taken around here so this is kind of the caliber that we can expect definitely Something on the upper end like that. This is definitely probably on the upper end, upper end, but this is the type of quality of bucks that hopefully we'll see. But uh, it's late, I've got a lot of video to cut right now to make this video upload for tomorrow, so we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. We're not gonna get in the stands until about 11 a.m. Um, because we're gonna shoot our bows, sight everything in, make sure we're good. And uh, we don't wanna bump out the deer that are, that are gonna be like in the food plots at first light so we're gonna give them some time to settle and we'll go get in the stands at around 11 a.m. so starting to get super exciting this is my bed check that out